but there's always nighttime. <laughs> sure. Anyways, I was wanting to get into this Kamui for a bit. Uh, Apex's latest comment. Maybe have Kaguya connected to Jura and the Shinju uh, since she merged with the Tin Tails. I think that's really interesting. I think Kaguya definitely could uh, connect with Jura, especially if Jura or other Shinju are Otsutsuki, specifically Jura himself, if he is one of the Otsutsuki from the Stone Tablet. There's a lot I want to get into Jura with like genetics and like going into chapter 10 and coming out of chapter 9 even. Because Jura did a lot of interesting things in this chapter that I think we could talk about. Um, specifically, okay. well, yeah, uh, I know that. I know that we talked about this in the past a lot about Jura and like he's similar to the Tin Tails, but like also kind of not. But I think Kamui, you yeah, yeah, yeah. have so, like an idea. Yeah, actually, I was actually yeah. talking to someone you talked about just this the other day before. in Discord about this. So, you yeah. know, so this is something I was thinking about. Um, I've been thinking about it. Jura is written as 10 demon in Japanese. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, with Japanese, it would be the best person to explain this, but like you can write something in Japanese, but like different ways of writing the kanji and it would translate differently, even though it's the same name. So it's written as 10 demon in Japanese. Now, well, for example, the easy way to imagine that is th there's a really easy way to see that. Technically, you can just take the word itself. What are the first two letters of Jubi, 10 tails? It's Ju, J U. What's the first two letters of Jura? J U. And then, like, even if you don't want to take that, you could look at Ju B versus B Ju. What do you think the B there is? It's the same thing. That B I. So J U is the same thing in terms of Jura and Ju B. The same way B is the same in terms of B Ju and Ju B. Uh, yeah. Then Ra would just be. You just have to, I guess, take my word for it because I don't think there is anywhere else in the series. Unless you want to count Kurama. Well, that's but I don't not because Kurama is not. the nine tailed demon fox. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so the Ra is the demon here. But yeah, so um, the Jura, so Jura, the, the Jew, like Tan in Japanese is Jew, J U, technically J U U. But, anyways, it's Jew, and then Ra is, would just be demon. So Jura yeah. does mean Tan demon. In just Japanese. as, like, the Tan tails is. A ten tails demon. Exactly. Anyways, I was gonna say, like, we know that the ten tails has ten tails, and it gives off a demonic vibes, kind of like a demon. So, with that in mind, I was wondering, is it possible? Yeah. Like, you know, could it be that Jura is related to the ten tails based on the meaning of his name? Now, we know that the Ten Tails uh, has Ten Tails, um, and it kind of gives off demonic vibes, kind of like a demon. Pretty so much like the other. I was Egers. wondering. Yeah, yeah. So, like, do you guys think it's possible? Could it be that Jura is related to the Ten Tails? Well, I think they kind Just of based on the meaning it. of his name. Well, yeah, I think they kind of already confirmed it in chapter eight or chapter nine. Pretty much both of them. So he can sense Ten Tails Chakra, and he's literally the incarnation of the Ten Tails, which I think would have a sense. Well, incarnation is basically like, isn't that mean like you are that says something? You're just like in a new form. Um, well, it's not reincarnation, it's incarnation, well, which what, is well, interesting. Well, I know, but it's like, huh, that's, hold on, let me go ahead and look it up. And what did they say exactly he's the incarnation of? Because I don't think it was of the Tin Tails. I think it was like of, of a tail beast, is what he said. Well, of a BG, of a tail beast. Let me see yeah. what it says in Viz, at yeah. least. The, the unreliable source. Well, incarnation says a person who embodies in the flesh a deity, spirit, or an abstract quality, or in reference to reincarnation, one of the series lifetimes that a person spends on Earth. That's interesting. Which this, which incarnation would probably so, have? Yeah, go ahead. 
I definitely think Jura might have some kind of connection to the Ten Tails. I'm not sure what it would be. I definitely think it's possible, but I don't know if there's anything in the series outside of his name to directly indicate that yet. Uh, because Jura is an interesting character. Based on his name for sure, it's got me thinking. But I don't know if there's anything that I can point to of a connection between Jura and the Ten Tails. Unless Immortal, you have something in mind that you thought of? I would say it was mainly because of the fact that out of all the other Shinjus, Jora's origin was mysterious. And we know that Hidari, um, we know Hidari, Matsuri, and the bug Shinjus, you know, they come from the people that were bitten by the claw grimes. But then Jora comes out of nowhere, and then it's like, okay, who is he? And so we were trying to deduce whether or not if it was any of the other people that got bitten, only to realize that he's the incarnation of a Biju. And so that led us to wonder, okay, is he the incarnation of the Ten Tails? Which, it just says Biju. So it could be any Biju that we know of. We don't really know. But we're, but the likely... They don't, the, they don't refer to the Juby as a Biju, though. They just refer to it as Juby. And there's no other tailed beast other than the ones Hagoromo split up. So it would have to be in reference to that. Well, Because oh. we know that the Ten Tails has Ten Tails. And so I don't think it could be that one. I think it has to be one of the Nine Tailed Beasts, just based off that. It could also be the Nine Tails, which is how Jura specifically is sensing the Nine Tails and not any of the other Tailed Beasts from what we know. Or like why he's so attracted to the Nine Tails in particular. Well, I mean... Wait, say that again. It's possible that because the Ten Tails has the Ten Tails, that Jura isn't that, but actually the Nine Tails. Based on his name, he might have the Ten Tails, but he doesn't have Ten Tails. And so I think it's definitely more likely that he's like the Nine Tails. Well, here's the thing. His <sighs> you know? No. Nah, it's if you no, nah, his skin no. Nah, we gotta look at Jorah's characteristics and everything about him. He has pretty much white skin, similar to an Otsuski. But also, he he literally came from, you know, um, the, he literally came from the Claw Grimes. Or if that's not really the Claw Grimes, but the Claw Grimes are pretty much of the Ten Tails. There's pieces of the Ten Tails. We don't know he came from the Claw Grimes. Not saying he did come from the Claw Grimes. But he is, but here's the thing. He has to be of the Juby for many reasons, because the Juby is just a big white glob of chakra, unsent um, non-sentient chakra. So, Ju so Jorah is pretty much given sentience, awareness. And he's literally stated to be the incarnation of a fellow Biju. But to now be they, fair, now, the same yeah. up does apply to Karama, like... The Karama was also born from the Tentails, has sentience unlike the Tentails. That is the same in a sense. I know, but there's but incarnation. But yeah. when when you have the okay, the word incarnation pretty much doesn't have well. If you're going to go yeah, with the Karama is an incarnation of the nine tailed fox of a Biju. He's an incarnation of a Biju as well. So is he the Tentails? Yeah. He, I mean, he is, but I mean, technically, he is, but he's just the like, nine tails is technically the ten tails, yeah. Um, it's just, the thing he's with like, Jura, though, Jura doesn't give me any kind of bad vibes necessarily. Whereas the ten tails, it gives me demonic vibes, kind of like a demon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys also felt that, but it just felt like the ten tails's demonic vibe felt. Exactly. Like a demon. That's why I think that Jura's me. name is a clear reference to um, the Ten Tails, you know, because it's Ten D. Yeah, exactly. So I think that makes sense based on the name. I Fact think Raleigh, don't they actually specifically there? call Ten Tails like Outside a of demon that. at some point? I wouldn't be surprised if they actually yeah. use that wording. Then it would literally be in the series. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what do you get say from the Jura? word Jura in the the subs or something? Yeah. Well, from so, Jura, we know his name is Ten Demons. But you don't get a demonic vibe from him. You just get like this little robot sentient vibe, sort of. Robot. As a, I don't know well, about robot. well, not really right. robot, like, but just like he a, likes a reading and stuff. An AI sentient. Yeah, exactly. Demons I mean, to be like fair, to too. I see reading. Well, they do. Yeah, I see demon. I see reading as demonic, but that's just my personal disdain towards reading. I don't think that's what the series creators were going for. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, though, Jura reads empty books. Go back to chapter five. Ikimoto drew no words on it. And if you watch some horror movies, like sometimes like demons will possess a host and like, they'll do things like, you know, read empty books. So, I mean, it feels pretty demonic when you look at it that way. Not so much he's trying to eat a little girl. That's pretty demonic. Well, mm. can't help. Well, he literally can't help it. I mean, it's yeah, he's a well, demon. <clears throat> <clears throat> my goodness gracious i think i might have mucus in my throat uh, <clears> throat> um but i mean wouldn't that go with what the ten tails is going wouldn't that go with the original lore of the ten tails because ko did say that the juvie will just devour anything and everything in in this general vicinity and it's i think it's has something well, to no, do with chakra because <clears throat> the the ten tails eats otsutsuki but well, they, Jura wants well, they, to devour Himawari. Well, they do. But I'm just saying, like, the original lore of the Ten Tails, or not, well, the new updated established lore of the Ten Tails, is the fact that they'll devour anything in their vicinity until they can find an Otsuski. Well, yeah, no, they're it's, devouring, it's, but the Ten Tails will eat. eat anything. But Jura wants to devour <clears throat> Himawari. So there's a difference there. And devour is more is demonic than eating. Yeah. Which goes in line with the themes of the series as well, with Jura and his name, like the Ten Demons, Jura. So I think based on the name, there could be a reference. Yeah, Just I definitely a think it's possible. line I'm trying to connect there. I'm not going to say it's likely that there's a connection between Jura and the Ten Tails, but I think based on the name... They could be hinting at something, so, kind of like Shibai, how people are saying, well, Shibai has to do with, like, a fake stage play. Like, it could be something they're going with, but, like, not every name in Naruto has to mean something. So I'll give it, like, a 20% possibility. It's just something we can, like, be mindful of. Not necessarily keep an eye out for a connection between Jur and the Tintails, but just something to keep in the back of our minds, I guess. Do you think that the Tintails will have memories? Or do you, th do you think they will Nine think demons have memories? Memories I mean, from being the ten tails. Well, I mean, how should I say? Memories that stem all the way back to the origins of the Otsuskis. Um, it's well, that would depend on the origin of the ten tails. Because the ten tails. Apex can... says. Oh, sorry. Apex ahead, says, sorry. I'm almost convinced Jura is a combination of the young Jubi and Ishiki, mannerisms of Ishiki, and body slash power of the Jubi. We don't know that's to be true, but uh, he also says, wild theory, Jura's ultimate goal to find other Jubis in the universe, give them sentience and rebel against the Otsuski. Likely? I don't uh... want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, because I know that kind of is the connection between Jura and the Ten Tails. Because I know it's pretty unlikely, honestly. But I definitely think there well, might be a possibility, but I don't think it's likely that there is. So I don't, again, I'm not trying to come off as like a conspiracy theorist or anything. So no, I don't think there is a connection between Jura and the Ten Tails. So I'm going to say no to your theory, Apex. But based on the name. Okay, based on the, so... again, I think just like other names, I think it could just be a name that he just gave him. I don't think it necessarily has to mean something. A name who gave who? Jora? The author gave Jura, yes. Uh, I mean, the author had to name him, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm still sticking with I'm still sticking with the fact that he is the Ten Tails. There has to be like he has to be the Ten Tails. So you don't think he's related to the Ten Tails? You think he is the Ten? No, he is the Ten Tails. That's what I'm saying. But do you think it's possible that he's just? But Jura doesn't have Ten Tails. He doesn't need Ten Tails. There's many indications. But then he can't that be the Ten Tails. 
Why do you think he's called the Ten Tails? Why do you think the Ten Tails is called the Ten Tails? No, listen to me. He's a ten. He's pretty much sentient. A human, a humanoid. Uh, okay. Well, I don't think Jorah himself would like the ten tails. Remove his tails. Well, no. But here's the thing. They're not really like. They're pretty much okay. I have this. Okay, sorry. I have this thing where Arion Mo like, Naruto had nine tails. Okay. Let me rephrase. He's like, pretty it's much... called the Ten Tails because it has ten tails. I don't think there's another Look at reason. The mug. Now okay. that I say it, it's very likely there could be another reason it's called the Ten Tails. Um, it might not be because it has ten tails. It could be another reason. It could be the fact that it's um, a demon. But a I don't want to get demon. into that right now. Yeah. And then the uh, exactly. tails are just but there again, to show that. It thematically would be relevant. But we'll we'll draw those connections like next. Let's let's finish this first. Okay. So what do you think, Immortal? So you still think that it just is, or that it's a connection, or that it's not? Because I'm going with it's not. Outside well, of the name the... being a, like a possible conspiracy theory. Well, I'm I'm okay. not really looking at the name. I'm looking at the characteristics of Jorah. I'm looking He's not at all like the Tin Tails in terms of characteristics. I mean, he doesn't have to because everything cuz look at his design and how the way he is. He pretty even though he looks yeah, human, zero tails. He doesn't need right now. He isn't well, he doesn't really need tails. He has Magatama markings all over him. Okay. The Magatama markings all over what him. What about Matatabi? Or sorry, what about Matsuri? Matsuri? Is he the Ten Tails? She doesn't have any tails. Yeah, what about Kawaki? Is he the Ten Tails? He doesn't have any He's tails. He's not the Ten Tails. So that's why I don't think it's likely, because there's no other character in Naruto who has Ten Tails and is the Ten Tails. Only the Ten Tails. Huh. Like, why would his name be Jura? If he doesn't have ten tails, like the 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 Ju means ten, but he doesn't have ten of anything, so I don't think his name can be relevant to anything. You know, I mean, it can be. It could be in reference to something else, like maybe when he hits like ten years old, or maybe like when he finds the ten demons, the ten tails. The Jura, uh, I think then Jura could do something to Jura, the Ten Tails. Okay, let me go ahead and rephrase my argument a little bit. Go ahead. Okay, so I was kind of, I had this, I have this thing where I'm arguing, I have this mental block where it kind of, where I'm kind of like in a way resetting myself, but I'm also kind of just stopping myself from, you know, making arguments that won't support me so well but again okay. i want to say that the t the nine tails is an incarnation of the tailed beast and it has nine tails not only the nine tails as we know it but the new nine tails the maybe reincarnation of the nine tails even the newly born one has nine tails so the fact that jura doesn't it would be inconsistent with everything else well that's the thing that's just my thoughts but go ahead. jura is new jura will Okay, Jorah is new. So is the that new is Nine Tails. I know, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this: what they're going with, whatever route they're going with, when it comes to Jorah and the other Shinjus, because the other Shinjus, their care, their designs are a lot different from Jorah's. For example, um, Hidari, he has like this little hood cape like thing, little robe, but he pretty much doesn't have anything. Well. He has a hood, like a little thing. Okay, I've already established that. So does uh, Matsuri. She looks kind of like a Harley Quinn Shinju bug. Has pretty much like fur and stuff all over him. But then you look on the back of Jorah. He has this little Renegon looking pattern. But then I counted all the Magatama markings he has. And it actually does count up to 10. Now, I'm not saying that, you know. Okay. Maybe that is... Could okay. I might a little backtrack here. I was about to say. I don't think that's fair to say because was well, Sasuke's Renegon the Ten Tails? No. Was Hagoromo 
Litton tells, what about uh pain? He had a Renegon. Booty. Was he he had the six paths? Was he the six tails? Booty. I know you're just trolling at this given point. <laughs> There's just no way you're actually gonna bring up those examples. Cause here's the thing. No, like, okay, the pain one is a troll. The rest have the same exact Magatama marks in the exact same order as well. And with Hagoromo, that's still irrelevant because not only does he have the Magatama marks, he also has the clan symbol, which is the same symbol you yourself pointed that out the other night. Yeah, they're clan symbols. Wait, okay. Okay, backtrack. then that's all it is. <sighs> they're from the same clan as the Tentails, maybe. The if same clan as is. the Tentails. It's There's... just a clan symbol. They're, they're, do we even know that the Tentails has a clan? Yeah, the Suzuki clan. The one that it Kado is part clan of. Them? It's possible, Immortal, that it's called the Tentails, not because it has ten tails, but because it's one member of ten from its clan. I think that'd be likely. No, it's literally just a Because, like, there was Tentakotsky members. It doesn't matter. The Osuskis are just an alien. I don't see your point. Anyways, I think it's definitely thematically would be relevant. Like, almost like a revival of the Akatsuki, which is interesting because they brought back Sheen. Or I guess they introduced Sheen. The 11th Akatsuki, maybe you would say that. Anyways, because they brought the Akatsuki into Boruto, I think they could bring the Akatsuki back via the Tintails. In a sense. 